Hello and welcome. This is your host, Shoemaker, aka Technical13. And um, I am joining Top Hat Tolab and Samus Garobo and a few other players today. And we're going to be doing some pen and paper. This is my second session playing pen and paper. Um, I've never played before in my life, despite having played Dungeons and Dragons online for the last nine or ten years now. Um, so it should be interesting. I um, I did misunderstand when I was told that we were going to start at 7.30, and I had thought that it was Pacific Time, which was the DM, uh, Top Hat Tolab's time zone, and that made me think that we weren't starting until like 10.30 my time, Eastern here. And apparently that was Central Time and Samus's time, so time zones got me a little messed up. I didn't have time to set up my stream as much as I had wanted. But we're just going to kind of wing it here. Um, hopefully next week I can get this finished up and I can get the um, stream set up for streaming on DDO Stream. Although it looks like um, there's somebody currently on the DDO Stream channel. Um, oh, what's his name? I can't remember. Anyways, let me unmute my microphone and um, my headset, and we will hear what the others have to say and start playing. At Top Hat Lab uh, to get uh, the DM perspective. If you want the um, perspective of the players, uh, you have a couple options with uh, Samus. Uh, I believe uh, Shoemaker is going to be trying to get his started. Uh, I think that's what he's doing right now since he's been uh, radio silent for the last few moments. But uh, yeah, we're, again, we're missing a couple of people today, but we're going to make the best of it. And uh, that's kind of what you got to do is uh, uh, in pen and paper and especially as a DM is uh, you need to think on your feet. And that's what I intend to do today. So uh, anyways, uh, with the, all the intros out of the way, um, let's go ahead and uh, recap what happened last week. And I pick Steiner. All righty. So our intrepid band of four, four totally random underpowered dudes were tasked by the city of green belt greenest greenest close enough to guard and keep closed a sally port as the city was being attacked by a bunch of humans and kobolds we were mostly successful and only almost lost the cleric due to a lucky round from the bad guys and having secured the sally port until reinforcements could arrive uh we have now gone to get uh healed and find out what else they want us to do so far uh, i think they just want us to collect 10 kobold deers Ten cobalt ears. That's what they want you to do. That's what I heard. Which is weird because I've always considered them muskrat ditch, but whatever. All right. So, um, all right. Yeah. So you guys are basically in the city beach, um, and we'll go ahead and move you guys over to the. Uh, well, first, let's change scenes here. All right, let's move you guys over to the village. Shaboop. So um, you guys are at this village, which is greenest. Um, helps me to actually move myself as well. Um, and uh, you guys are have been uh, basically... Um, um, all hold up in this uh, this uh, citadel right here, and you guys have a, a uh, the blue dragon is actually not there anymore, so let's delete that. Uh, so there was a blue dragon that was hammering down on you guys, uh, and you lost several, uh, many, many people injured uh, more than you probably feel comfortable with. And then you got attacked uh, through the sally port, but you guys were able to close it. Um, you see a look of distress uh, as you guys uh, get a, a moment to sit down. Uh, some of the clerics will come and heal, uh, heal you guys up. 
uh, but you see a, a look of distress on the governor's face, um, and he's pacing back and forth. Uh, he's mu uh, murdering, uh, murmuring swear words under his breath. Uh, he looks very irritated. Well, aren't we about ready to head out? All right? Didn't oh, he ask us to go? go Okay. All right. So you've already gone. So he asked you guys to, uh, he, well, he didn't really ask you guys. He, he more was, was talking to himself saying, Oh, I really wish that I had, uh, had one of their leadership, even a low one would be, uh, would be a great help to us. Yeah. Um, did he also say something about a fire at the church or something so about that about the time that you guys are talking to him uh he will bring you guys over to a bastion um and he will point at uh a you'll see a woman um out in the middle of the field uh and she's got uh purple robes uh she says he says to you uh that he believes that the that is one of the high leaders um and he has seen uh her do some things that are um very powerful and uh that you you probably should try to avoid uh anyone wearing that type of clothing um and about the time that he's he's pointing this out to you you see a a, a real skinny man uh probably is in his early early teens um in very shoddy looking armor he runs up and he says uh, uh he's out of breath and he, he's trying to struggle to say uh that there's uh a fire at the church and uh, there's monsters um, hammering down on this uh, on this church, uh, and they're, they're pretty sure that there's people in the church. Okay, rescue mission slash uh, target of opportunity. Yeah, correct. Okay, so uh, the church is um, over here. On your map where I'm pinging. Yep. So um, you guys are going to head straight through there then? Well, I think if we take the tunnel that we've already cleared, that should take us pretty much down by the river. Correct. We should just be able to, like, river, belly crawl, whatever, uh, slide through there to get to the back, to the back corner of the church over here somewhere. Yeah, you can do that. Pretty, pretty easily. Okay. So that's what you're that's what you're wanting to do. Sounds good to me. Everybody else kind of following along, or yeah. All I heard was get the purple robe person. Um, you will he you will see that um the Atremis, uh, your fighter, and um, and uh, a couple other people will be sitting and and basically tending and and guarding the the citadel. Um, okay, let's see where are we at here. My, my book, my book, the two casters and the cleric will go do it. Don't worry about it, fighter boys. Yeah, he 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 has uh faith in you, he thinks that you guys can do it. I mean, going from head count last encounter, it's probably not too far off the truth. All right, so um, you guys go uh, through the river. I need um, three uh, stealth checks with advantage from each of you, please. Uh, let's see. If I remember right, I also have the guidance spell, so I'm going to cast guidance on us as a as an overall hole to just kind of like. Okay. Think. Double check. All right, so. You said with advantage. Uh, correct, with advantage, sir. And big ol' sexy one. Are we doing stealth checks? Stealth checks with advantage. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, good. good. Good advantage. Oh, good. I almost had that 20. That's pretty close. Looks like I got an 18. <clears throat> um so you guys are are creeping up to the uh church and uh let me see i'm gonna One. grab you guys here i feel like i should give shoemaker oh i guess it was a bit advantage i guess i'm the weakest link uh you are indeed uh, oh man 
You are the weakest link. Goodbye. I feel like giving somebody a, a stern talking to, and I realized it was me, and there's no no good can come from that. Well, she rolled, rolled a... Oh, yeah, you rolled an eight. Um, yeah. So how you guys can set your guys up in your in your own personal marching orders, but this is where I need you guys to be at. Fine. Is that marching order fine with you guys? Yeah. Yes, strong. Okay. Um, so you guys are um, over here, and um, Sam, I need you to roll a reflex save. Oh, good. Let me see. You mean a dexterity save? Uh, yes, a dexterity save. This is a, a part of the problem you play multiple systems. I feel you. All right, so 14. Um, so you make a, uh, you're making it down the river. This riverbed is, it's, it's wet, the, uh, full of, of really slick rocks. Um, and you uh, stumble a little bit and you're trying to be as quiet as possible, but you're, you do um, yell uh, a little bit as your ankle kind of tweaks. Um, go ahead and roll a percentile. So 46. 46. Um, so you will see um, a couple of uh, humans on the, the shore bed over here. Um, and they will uh, they they are now looking in your guys's general direction. Seems good. Um, yeah, I feel like we just take them. And and did we get a short rest while we were getting healed and stuff? You got a short rest, yes. Okay. I feel like we just take them, but uh, we'll see if. Um... I don't know. Uh, I and forget that. I'm it's not much... like super fast moving, right? I'm getting much faster at, at this. Uh, what was that? I said, if I remember right, this was not like the fastest river ever. It, this isn't like a a fast river per se. No. Okay. Yeah, I mean. I think we just like try to try to rehide again. Okay. And, okay. and see what happens. Quick motion to like dive, dive, dive. Okay. And, and see if we can re rehide. Although there's pretty much zero percent chance of that. Oh, sweet! An eight. An eight. Okay. okay. Um, so let's see, uh, where are we at here, over here. And, oh, that's not the right one. This is the right one, there we go. And it is So what are we doing now? We are carefully sneaking down this river and there's a batch of humans over there. All right. Um, so you Yeah, go ahead, Chu. So so how thick is that string of trees that's there? Um, it's, it's like a, kind of a, a low, why can't I pull this to my second screen? What's going on here? Well, just keep in mind that each one of those squares is right around 20 feet. So it's like, depending on your angle, it's 20 to 40 feet thick. Oh, I see. Okay. Right. But I'm just wondering if uh, they're like tall deciduous type trees where you can see right through them or if they're no, they conifers they're or bushes. bushes. Okay, so they're more like bushes. So they're short bushes, okay. Yes. Um, so you guys will see these guys are start are kind of spreading out a little bit and they are are looking because I heard you. Uh, this guy right here, however, uh, points 
pretty much directly at you, Sam, and he starts moving towards you. Good. Excellent. So uh, let's roll initiative. All right. Don't forget, when you're rolling initiative, boys, you got to click on your token and then click on your character sheet, your initiative. Yeah, clicking on my token doesn't do anything. I'm apparently not linked anymore. Uh, you may not be linked on this map. Okay, give me a moment and I'll fix it for you. All right. And I think I need to delete all of these, right? So that you guys can roll initiative anew. Mm, I mean, I was fine. Oh, shit, right. sorry. It's no big deal. I'm roll again. All right, there we go. So go ahead and roll your initiatives, guys, now that I got everybody in here. And then, shoo, you can't move. I still don't have access to my token. Well, oops, I screwed up my... Oh, you cleared the initiative. Never mind. Yeah, he cleared it. He cleared it, and then everyone rolled better somehow. I rolled double what I rolled before. All right, there you go, Shu. You should be able to do it now. There we go. Oh, nice. All right, sorry, I had this pull my children. All right, so uh, let's see, this doesn't auto. That's annoying. All right, let's see, 20. I think there's a button that you can push that'll automatically sort it. But I, I don't know. There we go, look at that. Sam coming through. All right, so uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start a. Uh, top of the round, uh, Steiner. What would you like to do, my friend? They're def they've definitely seen us, and they're coming towards us. Uh, this guy has de this guy right here, the middle guy, has seen Sam for sure. Uh, these two, the other two, you have you see them are moving around, but they uh, they not necessarily have seen him yet. Okay, well, and you guys are seen. Um, from this area, you can see a, a plume of uh, smoke coming from over here. Well, if it looks like the guy has is, is, is seen uh, Samus, I'm just going to blast him with a Elder's Blast. Okay. Go ahead. It's uh, normal. Okay, so uh, 25 is your to hit, correct? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that'll hit. A, a nine damage to him. Nine damage to the guy that saw Sam? Yeah. Okay. You see him uh, go unconscious. Okay, uh, it is uh, Samus' turn. All right, I'm going to move over here into the, into the brushes and grab my quarter staff with both hands and uh, be ready to, to drop the fool that decides to come at me. Okay. All right. Uh, Shoemaker, what would you like to do? Shoemaker, what would you like to do? All right. So we got one guy that's unconscious that definitely saw Sam and two others that should now be should, should now be aware of the activity after that huge a well, blast. Kind of yes. Re remember, all of this is happening at the same time. One round is six seconds, so all of this is kind of happening all at the same time. Okay. So I'm going to grab my slingshot and um and bark like a dog. Man, that was a good impression, Shoe. I'm impressed. wasn't it. And I'm going I'm gonna um, attack the guy next to Steiner. I apologize, guys. It happens. Uh, if you hold down your 
your click button, it should put a, a ring around the character. There you go, perfect. So I'm going to attack him with my slingshot. Okay. I think we have that set up correctly. Which which one are you attacking? I'm sorry. The one closest to him. Okay. Uh, a 14. Uh, 14 will hit, and you do how much damage? Five. Five. Five, Five damage. Uh, you see it hit him, and it, it gives him a good lock. But uh, he's a, he's still standing. Okay. Uh, now it is. There we go. Now how can I tell which one of these is which? It doesn't matter. Just mentally pick one. All right. Um. So he does see you now, Shu. I would hope he so. I put a big big lump on his head. Yeah, he's going to come over and attack you. Where's my... There it is. Again, remember these squares are like 20 feet. Uh, so you're going to take uh, seven points of damage. Uh, I assume you don't have a higher than 17 AC, correct? I have an 18 armor class. Oh, do you? Okay, then you do not take any damage. Okay, I thought you only had like 17. I get okay. the I get the heavy armor on that gave me up over up to eighteen. So these are twenty. So yeah, he's just gonna come like in the middle of that square right there. Okay. Um, Steiner, he is definitely coming at you. The one that's now between me and Samus. Yeah, Steiner, it is your turn. Okay. Well. Uh. The guy's coming at me, so that guy there is going to take. I'm just going to point my battle axe at him. Okay. And blast him. Oh, that was almost a one. So 21 armor class for seven points of damage. Okay. Um, you you see that he takes a pretty good hit, uh, but he's not down though. Okay, and then uh, these are 20-foot move squares. Yes. I'll just move down the river towards Samus. Okay. Samus, it's your turn. All right, I'm going to move the equivalent of one square forward or so and uh, shoot the guy that came towards Steiner with a uh, acid. Okay. Flash. So he needs to make a 14 dexterity save. Or okay, take he does two points of acid. Two points of acid, okay. Uh, you will actually see that that actually does bring him down. And then I'm going to look at Steiner and I'm going to say, focus fire. Okay. I know he's not so bright, but maybe if we... Shoemaker, what would you like to do, my friend? Shoemaker, it is your turn. Yeah, I keep muting him behind. I said, um, he's standing right next to me, so I'm going to yank out my Warhammer and cleave it at him with two hands. Okay. 21 will hit. Um, so you bring that down on his head, and, and it actually just crushes in. Uh, it's pretty nasty, but uh, yeah, he's he is on the ground and, and just kind of gurgling. Okay. And from there, I'm going to move down closer to my party members. All right. And for, for clarity's sake, it, is the first guy like unconscious? Or he, the, uh, guys are unconscious? you going to check him? Oh, yes. We're going to check them okay. all. So and go ahead and roll, roll heal check. Um... I'm First, decently wise. I'm, gonna, I'm going to guidance, and then I'm going to check for a bad pulse here. Fourteen. 
14. Um, so they uh, do not appear to be dead. Do any of them appear to be... First of all, do any of them appear to have possessions? Because they don't anymore. Um, they have, like, you'll see some, li- like, a few pockets full of, like, copper and uh, maybe a few silver. Um, right. We'll toss the bags at Steiner as, we, as we're checking for pulses. Okay. And then... um, you'll see some candlesticks that they have. Yeah, anything um, that looks like it's generic random value, we'll grab, and then um, we will quickly do like a. Is there an obvious officer? Uh, no. This these do not appear to be officers. These okay. appear to what be regular old. Again? Shit, I'm supposed to be good. All right. Well, I guess we'll just tie them up really inconveniently. Okay. Okay. Um, is that like a sleight of hand? Uh, it would be a dexterity. Uh, argue that. Yeah, but these got. Uh, As he starts tying up one, I just take my axe and like smack, smack one of them. Okay. Like in the head. Um, uh, sure, you kill him. Yeah, but like. You don't have to roll do, if they're uh, if they're on the ground there. I just want to time up real yeah. good. And okay. I look at him and I'm like, well, you could have done that before I wasted all this time. You didn't ask. That's fair. So there is quite a bit of smoke in this area uh, over here. Oh, all right. I'm on the wrong layer for you guys. No, I, I mean, I didn't see that ping, but you were pinging over here earlier. Yep, yeah. right here. You see, you this, see quite a bit of smoke. Taking a look at this uh, wall around the thing. Is yes. this like a climbable, scalable wall? Is it low? Is it high? It's a low wall. It's like a, so it's like like a, a, fence? a stone fence, yeah. You're, you're still going to have to tell me how high. Um, it's a couple feet, I would guess, if it's right, like so a gotta, fence. It's going to be a massive scaling ordeal for me then. Got it. Thank you. I just, I'll, I'll just pick them up and like toss them over. Yeah, it's actually five feet. Oh my gosh, I can't even see the other side. All right. So Stein is going to pick me up, put me on the, put me on the, stand me up on top there for a minute so I can get a good look around. I let him stand on my shoulders. All right. And once again, I'm going to guide me. And then, uh, is there someone here where roll. I put my height? Uh, you'd have to roll it. Uh, it should be on, uh, on your character sheet somewhere, though. Um, so you can't really see anything over here. Um, but you do see. Um, let me move over here. Uh, you do see this right here. You have uh, a uh, three humans and some kobolds. Uh, the kobolds have a battering ram, and they are are, are slamming it up against the door. Um, and the humans look like they're just barking orders. Okay. I'm going to look at Steiner's character, and I'm going to say, look at all the muskrats. You can get all the muskrat dicks you want. I'm, I'm sorry. My connection just crapped out. Fine. Um, oh. All right. So I look at the guys really quietly, and I hush. I pull them all together. I'm like, okay. I, I describe the situation to them just in case. And I tell them that it looks like there's somebody wearing a funky hat in the back. I bet you if we're careful, we could sneak around and try to try to take out the the one in the funky hat first. Because that's either a wizard or a leader. Or both. And then we can mop up kobolds all day. Okay, so we want the guy in the le- back left. Yeah, like he's got a funky hat. So if we try to move around kind of stealthily, going like, see if I can. I'm curious more about the building. Why are they trying to break in? It's a church. There's somebody obviously in there. 
So if we go like this way, it should show up as me moving on your guys' map, right? Boo -doo 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 -doo. Can we do like some some good stealthiness through there? Like I, I should be able to stay far enough back to to not stir anything up. I got that heavy armor and the ch and chain and all whatnot. I'm probably pretty noisy, so if I stay back a little bit. Just keep in mind, depending on how far back you go, you might be like a like a football field away. But uh, if I can get here and I can get Steiner with me with some high quality stealth checks and a couple of guidance spells, like, like we might be able to just take this guy real quickly and then dismantle that group after the fact. I can probably get to about here-ish. All right. Uh, uh, how are we doing these rolls? Are we doing these with advantage or not? Um, if you're staying in, uh, you're you're not staying. In, uh, no, you're doing straight up uh, stealth checks. Okay, I'll try to at least get to. Uh, he's so he's behind that building. So I'm gonna stay behind the buildings on yeah. on the side over here, something like that. That way, I can still have line of sight to heal everybody. But um, mm -hmm. not be too noisy, not get too close for them to pick pick up on my pick up on me. Okay. I guess I I probably couldn't see him there. I probably need to be across the street, like in the doorway. Okay. And then um, basically, what I'm gonna what we're going to have discussed as we're sneaking through here is we're going to have Steiner start the start the engagement with like a stealth attack if we get a chance and then i'll uh i'll follow up right after but uh oh. i don't know how easy how how much they're paying attention trying to actively knock down this door um the humans you can tell are are uh on guard um and the guy in the funky hat is uh He's actually um, barking orders. Yeah. Okay. So I'm sorry, let's I see. haven't set these guys up quite yet. So just so you guys know, they are. But we we want them alive, right? Just the one in the funky hat, or I don't remember what edition speak with that is, or what what level speak with that is in this edition, but it's probably not that high. So you will know that uh, these, uh, since the the way that the squares work out on this, this is, they're not way back here. The, they are all up into the church. It's just the way they have it laid out. I can't pull it, you know. Yeah. So they're they're not way back there, but they are. Uh, they're in this general area. Okay, so maybe I'll be hiding. I'll be like hiding behind the fence here. Like I'll hop it over by the. Like I'll hop the fence here and then duck down. Okay. Behind the fence, sure. right there. So give me a perception then. Perception, go over to core. Oops. Well, oops. That's a, that's a nineteen. For you. Yeah. yeah. Um. So. Um. You will see over in this section, uh, as you're looking through over here the, where the gate is, you see in this section. Um, let's go here. Man, we should have thought about asking if there was anybody who could cast Speak with Dead before we left. Well... I I I I tell you, you know, if he goes unconscious and we can get to him quick enough, I could heal him to one hit point, so he doesn't die. Mm. Seems like some extra work. So you will see uh, those guys right there. Oh um, crap! And they are um, actually going around the uh, the outside of the church, and they're like banging on the windows and hollering. And it, it's uh, go and roll intelligence. <laughs> That's funny. That's yeah. right. Go ahead. You can roll a twenty. 
roll your two brain cells together and get a good roll. How do I roll it on if on you here? Click the where it actually says the number, or like the name. Oh, okay, yeah, I just wasn't mousing over in the right spot. Hold yes. on, can I um, can I can I cast guidance on him first? Give him a little bit of a boost. Uh, no, no, this is uh, this is something that you're not a, uh, privy to. So, also, you're very far away. Correct. All right, so you got like a a negative three or something like that. No, I got a three. I rolled a five. Okay. So what what is your intelligence, by the way? I, I was going to ask you that. Six. It's a six. <laughs> yep. Wow. But he is not that unwise. I, I am I am above average in wisdom. I am uh, basically like Don sure. Quixote. I'll, I'll give you a, I'll give you a wisdom roll. Go ahead and make a wisdom roll. He's not for the book learning, but he's street smart. Okay, yes, yeah, I'll give him that. Fourteen. Um, okay, so you will know that they uh, that they they are are their sole purpose is to scare the people on the inside. So, okay. uh, what would you guys like to do? I'm waiting for Steiner to make that initial surprise attack, and then I'm going to follow up. Uh, all right. I am going to first... Wait, let me just double-check the duration of this other spell. So remember, if we have to, we can always run away. And Sam, you do not know these guys are here. Yeah, the guys fun. I just revealed. Man, I knew something was oh, fishy. Oh, last four hit points. Okay. Disappeared. Huh? So I knew something was fishy when I counted like there was uh, extra people there before, and then they disappeared. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta cast armor agathus on myself first. Okay. And Sam, you see my body like in, in, encased in ice again. I've observed you do that. Before. Yep. Yeah, oh and then. Well, I don't think guidance works on the attack roll, does it? No, but I just want to have guidance ready to go if I need to. Okay. I can't cast it later, so. Yep. And then I'm gonna blast the guy in the funky hat. Okay. AC 19 for, wow, two points of damage. Two points of damage. Yeah, I'm not sure why it's rolling two d10s. Uh, but... probably that's how you have set your critical dice up to be. Okay. Oh, maybe, maybe yeah. All so right, we we're gonna go ahead and roll, there. and oh yeah, you still get your yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, and then I'm going to acid splash uh, him and the uh, the guy closest to me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna acid splash those guys. So. Oh, that's better. better. DC 14s for no damage, or otherwise take six. I'm assuming they're within five feet of each other. Okay, so he makes himself, uh, makes it himself, and then the flat-footed surprise round. He makes it. All right, that yeah. might be a little tough. And then uh, the other guy makes it. Okay. All right. Um, and shoemaker, you get a surprise round if you want to do anything. Um, I think I'm just going to move up behind Sam and Steiner. Oh, crap. Hold on a second. Uh, I keep forgetting about Hexblade's curse. Oh, but he's, is he more than 30 feet away from me? Uh, I, probably, yes. Yeah, okay. yes, he would be. Okay. Uh, we need to like adjust the scale at some point to Can I just move let me see if I could just move these on top of each other? You should, yeah, you should be able to put all the tokens in the same square, but I don't know how confusing that would be for you at that point. They need to, if you do that, like, smush down to where there's, like, smaller icons. I agree. Okay, so they're... Make. 
Yeah, they're they're about like that. Okay, that's better. Okay, but he's he's still like forty plus feet away. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, we'll go ahead and roll initiative. Hey Steiner, you can see these guys over on the side here, right? Yep. What can you tell us about this one? What is it? Uh, that's the same lizard got creature that almost killed you and me last last time at the ah. Sally Port. Yeah, you saw that guy last time. You might not see him now, but you saw him last time. <clears throat> I didn't see nothing. I was unconscious. Let's see here. Uh... And, and once they look over at us, I I just yell out. Why don't you try to scare somebody your own size? And then... And I just shake my head. And then I bash my battle axe on my shield. Nobody's watching my stream. Not smart. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Fifteen, sixteen, sixteen, six, thirteen, eighteen. Let's move these. Yeah, I'm basically like Don Quixote. All right, there we go. Finally got all the initiatives rolled. And then we go descending. All right, so Steiner, it is your turn, sir. Uh, if I ready an action, I can't do a bonus action with my action later, right? Uh, no, I don't think you can. No, you have to do your bonus action now. Yeah. So again, oops. On that guy, I just point my axe at him again. Uh, six armor class sixteen. Armor class sixteen on the funky hat guy. Yeah. Uh... Yes, that'll hit. Uh, he takes eight points of force damage. Okay. So that's 14, 16 points total. All right. Um, you will see that these kobolds are continuing to bash at the door. Samus, what would you like to do? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hug the corner of the building here. Uh, uh -huh. I want to be signified that I'm closer to that square than the other square. Sure. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and reach around and shoot the same two again with the acid splash. Okay. And just see if we can't get lucky this time. Uh, 14 again for the DC. Well, for okay. a mighty one point of acid. The funky hat guy will make that. Sounds like and... 14. The other guy will not. So yes. this guy will take how much? One. One point of damage. Okay. One. Eat it. Feel the burn. Son of a... And I'm going to stand back to, uh, against the wall and ready my crossbow. Okay. Shoemaker? All right. So I'm going to move out in the open over here. Uh-huh. And I'm going to take my sling and shoot it at the funky hat guy, see if I can make him unconscious. Okay. So, 10? Uh, unfortunately, I will not hit. It'll graze off uh, his armor. Remember, it's gonna unless you have advantage, it uses the first number only shoe. So it'd be 9. Okay. Um, these kobolds are helping. All right, this guy. Let's see. So, what is his movement?
He will go after um, Steiner. He can't make it all the way this turn, but he will be. Oh, yeah, he could charge you. So he will charge you. There is a behind the fence. Oh, you're behind the fence? Yeah. He said he jumped over it and. Oh, okay. Then Shu, he's going after you. <laughs> Sorry, Shu. It's all right. I'm, I'm, I'm on top of the roof of the building over here. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, is it going to tell me the attack rolls? Oh, I wish Light was a reaction. I'd, I'd cast it in his eyes as he like tried to run into Shu. Uh, so does a 15 hit you, Shu? Negative. Okay, so then no, he will not hit you. Uh... Which is a good thing. Okay. Uh, so Sam, are you looking around the, the... I am keeping both eyes and ears open with my massive perception. Well, I'm, I'm trying to figure out, can these guys see you? Because you said you were... Oh, no. I mean, they this probably... Know definitely what... can, so... Well, I mean, the cor I, I've been ducking behind the corner of the... I just been like coming out, shooting, going back around the corner. Okay. All right. So he's gonna go ahead and attack. Let's see which one is attacking first. That the guy that I put you right underneath there. He's gonna attack you. Okay. Fourteen. Um, I think my armor class is sixteen. Ah, uh, okay. Is your armor class 16 or? Yeah, it's 16. Oh, okay. All right. So I, I thought you were checking. No, uh, I said I, I thought it was 16, and then I looked and I said, yeah. All right. 16. So that guy is also going to attack you. Which guy? The guy with the funky hat? No, no, no. The this guy is attacking Sam. So seven will seven will not hit you. Nope. Uh, kobolds are continuing to bash the doors in, and it is now Steiner's turn. All right. Um, if he's attacking Shu, I'll run up behind him and try to smack him upside the back of the head with the flat of my axe. Okay. To do, like, subdual damage. Oh. 19 will hit. And you okay. do eight? Yeah, eight subdual bludgeoning damage. Okay. So you see him, uh, he will crumple to the ground. Nice. I'm going to, um... You got a hat guy? Yeah, the funky hat guy. All right, good. I, I want to I check him to see if he's if he's dead or just incapacitated. Uh, do you, you want to do that right now as your action? Oh, well, That'll be your action when you it, when it's your turn. Let's see, cold bold, cold bold, Samus. All right, I'm gonna kill this guy that's in front of me. In front of you, okay. Yep. Uh, quarter staff. Whack. Eighteen. Uh, yes, that'll hit. Or seven. Oops, I should not draw that. Are you drawing a guy sitting down, unconscious? Yeah, I was trying. I thought I was drawing freehand, but I was drawing squares. Okay. Um, you give him a good wallop, but he is—he's on his feet, but he's—he's he's shaky. Okay. Uh, shoemaker. So yeah, I'm gonna check him to see if he's unconscious. Okay, go ahead and roll heal. I I'll see if I can find it. It's a medicine check. Medicine. Medicine. Now's also a good time to cast that guidance if you want to do something else. I could do that. So I'll cast that guidance. 
which is a D4. So you can either type it out slash roll D4. So three on on the guidance. Yep. So it'd be a sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can tell that he is unconscious. He's not dead. Okay. I'd like to uh, like I'd like to like drag him back behind the fence over here. Okay. Sure. Um. All right, Sam. The cult, the uh, the guys in the leather armors will be attacking you. Bring it on! Uh, eight will not hit. It's great. Fifteen will that hit? Nope. Okay. Screw those guys. I'm a ninja. Battle wizard. Steiner's just making all the best shapes on the screen now. Why are these guys coming over? They hear that all this simple. racket over the sounds of kobolds knocking on the door and these guys shouting over here and banging? Well, oh, if man. Steiner could see them, he, if Steiner sees them, he can, they can see him. So coordinated. They are. They are. I got a well-trained army of shit over here. Hey, where'd I go? Where'd my token disappear to? Uh, you were under this uh, the frowny face. You didn't get yourself deleted somehow, did you? I don't know. Yeah, you must though, because you're also off the initiative order. All right, give me a second. I'll put me back. And he had a 21 initiative. I don't know. No, he had like a. a he four. was after me, but before the next group of kobolds. I think it was a 14. Yeah, something like that. To the second freaking basilisk, whatever yes. they're called. Yes, you will see another one coming up the side of the, the church. Okay. Um, it is Diner's turn. All right. And I yell, there's, there's two lizards. But I will blast. I finish hopping over the fence, and okay. I blast the guy I just uh, pinged. Which guy? That guy. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I was a 19. Damn it. For nine points of force damage. Nine points. Okay. You'll actually just blast him off of his feet, and he'll land on the ground. Not working. Okay. Uh, Samus. I'm going to look at Steiner and I'm going to go, hey, genius. Focus fire. And I'm going to continue to hit the same one. <laughs> I've been shooting this whole time. Uh, 24 to hit for nine. Nine. Get the frack out of here. Yes, you do. Bring your uh, quarter staff down, and you, yeah, you, it's ugly. Okay. Um, uh, now we need Shu on the initiative again. Oh, that's right. Where is he at? Uh, uh, his see. token probably got removed when they cleaned that purple off of the screen. Would be my guess. Probably. Yeah. That would be a suspicion of mine as well. Yeah, right, so make sure you click you your token and then pre roll. I did. I did. Okay. Uh, to, uh, let's see. Add, how do you add? 
How do you add somebody? You add somebody for what? Sorry. To the initiative tracker. Uh, just have him roll again and then change it to whatever you want him to be. So if you want to put him back at 14, just change it there to 14. All right, there we go. I got... Uh, let's see. So he was at 14? Yep. Yeah. All right, there we go. We should be good now. So, Shu, it's your turn then. All right, so... Um, what is that token underneath Sam? It is a guy in leather armor. All right, so I'm going to... Which, which side of, is, is he of Sam so that I can get behind him for advantage? He is in front of Sam. Okay, so I'd have to come back around that side. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm going to come to this. Squares. I'm going to come to this side here. You could just go into the square that perceives to be his because he's not taking the 20 by 20 square. Right. Yeah, just stack everyone up there. All right, so I'm going to just get right in, right on the other side of him, behind him, uh -huh. so that he's looking at Sam and I'm behind him. And I'm going to just cleave at him with my Warhammer with two hands. Now you get to use the bigger of the two numbers. So 18 for five damage. Okay. And I... All right, y'all got to move yourselves for a minute. <laughs> All right, there we go. How much damage? Five? Yep. Okay. All right, now you guys can put yourselves back. All right, I'm going to keep him here for a moment. All right. Um, so uh, roll a percentile both Shu and um, Samus. Oh. So, eleven. Eleven. Okay, Sam, he's gonna attack. No, that's, that's two zeros. So that's a hundred. No, <laughs> fine. It's eleven. Two ones. All right. Um, eighteen hits you for. Uh, what was that? The four. I rolled four. I rolled three. So four points of damage. Okay. Slashes you with a scimitar. Oh, I can mama. Bad touch. Twenty, forty, sixty. That's charging. Okay, so uh, that's what you guys see. Uh, all of these had to move up to get to you so they don't get to attack this turn, but that's what you guys see. Um, Einer, it's your turn. All right, remembering what the freaking lizard did to me last time, I'm going to blast it. Okay. And I don't think an eight hits. Uh, no. 
Okay. Uh, it is Samus's turn. Uh, Samus, you can tell that the or everyone can tell now uh, that the door is starting to splinter. Okay. Maybe that means we'll get some reinforcements in a second. Um. I feel like we just need to clean the oh man, I, we really need to get these big these big beasts off the field. Two of them are gonna be pretty rough. Um <clears throat> all right, let's do it. Focus fire, bam. We had someone call out a fresh target of the dragon. We're gonna thwack this damn dragon. Eat it, dragon. Thirteen. Okay, uh, 13 will indeed hit. Seven points of quarterstaff damage. Okay, why can I not? Um, I'm on the wrong layer again. Forgot when I have to go to another layer. I have to go back. Okay, all right. Um, Was that this one, Sam, or this one? Yeah. Ooh, that wait, I got an oh, idea. Okay. The same one that Stein is attacking. Uh, oh, it is Shoemaker's turn. Stupid. So, what's the status of this one? Um, it it still looks pretty healthy. All right, so I'm gonna cleave at it with my warhammer, both hands. Ten or five. Uh, ten will not hit it. It'll graze off of its very hard scales. Okay, uh, Samus, the uh, guy in leather armor, attacking okay. you. Let's see, where is their, where is their character sheet? There it is. I have like five character sheets open right now. <laughs> huh, I, should, I should tune in and take a look. <laughs> five, uh, you can't see their character sheets. Uh, five damage? Or, uh, five, five to hit, sorry. Five to hit. No, five does not to hit me. Nope, nope. Okay, uh, so now it's top of the order for these guys here, so... Steiner, they are uh, encircling you. Whoa, which one... Moved behind the this one right here. Yeah, but where that was the one from down here. That was the one. They bit the, the one the that's one. next to me was in between, was t southeast of me before. So this one did this. Okay, so the one that that so, so the one the one with in... the one with damage moved to the west of us. The one that's untouched is on the east of us. Okay. Correct. What I'm saying is the one that we've been attacking move to flank Steiner? Yes. yes. Yeah. Are we are we generating any any uh thwacky movements here? Or is he doing his full uh, round move? He sh you should be able to get a thwack on him if you'd like. Oh. oh we can we can get a attack of opportunity on him. Uh well, he moved through Samus's threatened square but not yours. And at least okay. probably also Shoe. Shoes. Yes. Landed. Yeah, so Shoe, you get an attack opportunity as well. I got a 16. A uh, 16 will hit. And then in that moment where Shu takes his swing, is he happen to be flanking with Steiner for that moment? Uh, wh why did you roll against you? I double clicked by accident. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, mm, yeah, I'll give it to him. So he would have been a 20, so that would hit as well. So 10 total? Yep, 10 together. Come together right now. Collapse so next to this us. This one is is no, it does not collapse. It is very it is bleeding all over the place though. Okay. Uh Steiner. Alright, I just need one second. Okay. I don't have enough screen space. I need a third screen.
Uh, I'm guessing a, so the 23, is that going to hit you? Oh, a 20, you're attacking me with a 23? Yes. Oh, yeah, that hits. Okay, so you'll take six and then a 12. Is that no, you? but okay, so the, cre the creature that hit me hits me takes five points of cold damage. Five points here. Uh, yeah. Okay. So you'll actually kill the, the one that's been damaged. Nicely done. Way to take the hit so we don't have to. Alright. Uh and then oh. the guy in leather armor to attack you. Ah, oh, Steiner is no longer flanked. Uh, 16? Nope. Okay. Alright, um... It is now Steiner's turn. Can I cast light in the eyes of the lizard thing to blind it? Um... You could try. That's what I was going to do. Uh, well, uh, light is uh, basically the uh, light. So uh, let me see if this has. Yes, you, you can. Could, you, you could. You you could possibly do it. I mean, he gets a saving throw. I know that much. Yeah, it's uh, bright light for tw twenty feet, and then additional. Uh, 20 feet of dim light. All right. So I'm going to do that. So I try not to take another hit. So it's a DC 14. This is the one problem with that, Steiner. You got to touch it. I don't think I got to touch it with light. It you touch right one on. object that is no larger than 10 feet in, in any dimension. So it uh, it is uh, it, it does seem to uh, close its eyes right at the the proper time. Okay. Okay. Um, it was worth a shot. Uh, at this point, the door has uh, probably a uh, like a one or two foot hole in it. You can see that the door is probably going to collapse at any get, at any moment now. Okay. Well, alas, there's not much I can do about that staring down the army of crap. So yep. the people inside there are going to have to rally against some kobolds. Okay. Modern problems require modern solutions. Well, this is going to evolve a medieval solution. We are going to thwack this thing like... And smelling shit with our quarterstaff and tell it it's a bad dog. Okay, well, I don't think the nine successfully hit the, it. <laughs> nine will not successfully hit it, no. Okay. You're bad, Doge. Stop it. All right, uh, Shoemaker, what would you like to do? All right, so we got two humans here, and a lizard. Probably going to attack. If you can one shot a human, that would be great. If not, focus your fire on the lizard. Does that human to our south have any damage? Have any of us hit it yet? Uh, it does. Yes. It, uh, to which? Where, where at? Ping it for me. To the south. So this guy. Yeah. Yeah. He he is bloodied. Yes. All right. So I'm going to um attack him. I'm going to cleave at him with both hands. My warhammer. Um, so you get a good, very, very good gash in him. He stumbles a little bit, but he's still on his feet. Uh, he's holding his, uh, his scimitar and, and readying to attack. Okay. Um, he is actually going to attack you, uh, Shoemaker. Bring it on. A oh five. A five, does that hit you? Does not. Okay, I didn't think so. All right. Um...
Do I get to whack the, the human guy as he tries to get around behind me? Yes, you do. But give me a minute to finish moving yeah. all this massive. So, stuff. um. Uh... You know, if there's too many guys for you to put, move around on the screen at once, they could just leave. They could. <laughs> well, what's the fun in that? Just saying, it is a thing that is an option. That's the DM with a pat for power within your purview. Yeah, yeah, yes, I, I know, I know, but it's there's no fun in that. All right, um, twenty-one to hit. That will hit. Yeah, so I'm. I'm I just like kind of like spin around and just at shoulder height with my bat, battle axe as it tries to get behind me. Yep. And, and, and make them, you know, six inches shorter. Why? Oh, there it goes. Now, see, I thought he missed me so badly that his scimitar went back around and, and, and slashed his, chopped his own right, leg off. So, first, the, uh, the lizard is going to attack you, uh, Steiner. Yep. Uh, 24. Oh, yeah, that hits. You must, for, like, lizard perfume or something. Uh, six points of damage. Ouch! Uh, um, and then, uh, the guy in the leather armor is also going to attack you. I mean, the guy I just killed? You didn't kill him. At eight points, I didn't kill him? No, you did not. Hey, Steiner, oh. does your thing go off just once, or does it keep going off? I forget. 12? Oh, it, it's, it's done. 12 misses. Okay. It's as long as I have the temporary hit points from the spell. That's right. Okay. All right. Uh, and... <coughs> Samus, it is your turn. All right. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But we're going to continue focus fire. This time I will go ahead and I'll I'll hit the uh, the guy to the south so Shu can be freed up. Okay. To attack the dragon or whatever. Try to get this guy off the battlefield. Get gone. Uh, fourteen. Fourteen will hit. Seven damage. Seven damage will bring that guy down. All right. Okay. Shoemaker. So that opens me up to attach attack the dragon there. It does, doesn't it? Isn't that funny how that worked? Indeed. So I'm going to um, cleave at him with my Warhammer with two hands. Okay. Sixteen for twelve. Sixteen for twelve. Okay. Uh, you do a, a good gash. He is dripping everywhere. Um, the the uh, lizard is going to do this time, Shoe. All right. <laughs> However, it does not get advantage. That's the wrong one. Where's it at? I need a better way of organizing these things. There we go. Uh, 18? I have an 18. It has to be higher than my armor class, okay. right? No, it has to hit your armor Eight class. Or exceed. Okay. Right. So, seven points of damage. Uh, Steiner, you have two guys in leather they are attacking. Okay, so... The guy that just stuck around behind me, I'm going to in, invoke my Hexblade's curse on him. Okay. Because he's within 30 feet of me, and it lasts for a minute. Um, as long as he's not dead, I'm not dead, or incapacitated, I gain a bonus of damage rolls against the cursed target, equal to my proficiency bonus. And uh, any attack roll made against the cursed target is a critical on a 19 or 20. And when I kill him... I regain hit points equal to my Warlock level plus my Charisma modifier. Okay. Uh, so the first one is a 10, which won't hit. I believe hits, right? 
Oh, sorry. I thought it was my turn looking at the. It's his no, turn. No, no. no ten? I didn't add them in yet. Yes, a 10 and then a 14. Yeah, they both miss. Okay. All right. Uh, there are some kobolds. They're going to be sharing the the lizard, but it's just for it this way. Okay. So that, that 20 foot by 20 foot square has now got the lizard and three kobolds in it? It will have... Uh, five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. So yes, it can fit all of them. So yes, it will. Okay. All right. So we're gonna have uh two kobolds hitting uh King Samus. Okay. And one attacking. All right, so the two attacking Samus. Uh, six. And then uh, seven. So they will not hit you. And then uh, Shoemaker. Nine. So he will not hit you as well. Okay. Uh, it is now Steiner's turn. Okay. Now I Hexblade's Curse the guy behind me. Okay. And I... So that's this guy here that should be should be almost dead. And I'm gonna... oh, that's the guy that randomly has an 87 con. Yeah. He's like a king amongst these guys. Uh, 11, does that hit? Uh, le- on which one? Uh... Oh, on the, on the guy in leather armor? I yeah. don't... Thanks. So let me check. Leather is AC 11. I don't no, know what their so. dexterity is. No, it will not hit. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, my God. I so am so screwed. Question, Steiner. I, I, I showed over to Steiner and asked him how his hit points are doing. Does, does anybody have to kill that guy or just you? Um... Let me we'll check something. If the curse target dies, yeah. It... Okay. Do you do you make some sort of note to that effect? What do you mean? Do you, yeah. Do you tell us in any way, shape, yeah. or form. Kill, kill that We've fucker. We've known each other now for like an hour. <laughs> Uh, so Samus, you will see a uh, uh, door will collapse, and the kobolds rush into the uh, church, and you are hearing screams from inside now. Oh, well, I better pray, pray the kobolds away. Yeah, kill the fucker behind me. Okay. Um, I'm going to. All right, I'm going to throw my quarterstaff as very high up in the air. Okay. I'm going to take a I'm going to take a step back using that moment that no, nah, screw it. I'll just stand right there. I will pull out my light crossbow that I already have notched. I will shoot that guy behind Steiner. 17 will hit and 5 damage will bring him down. And then Sweet. I will Drop my my light crossbow that I have on a string so it doesn't land all the way on the ground and catch my crossbow with style and grace. Okay. Or drop it. Either you, either one. You, you drop it. <laughs> yeah. And as, as you see the guy slump to the ground, you notice like my wounds like almost completely close. Uh, shoemaker, it's your turn now. All right. So I'm going to take another crack at that um that dragon. Now that we've cleared up that guy flanking Steiner. Okay. Uh, 
15 for 6 damage. Six, uh, 16 for 6 damage. That... Okay. Uh, you can see he is, he is bleeding really badly now all over the place. Um, and it is... Now, these guys. He is going this way. Is that guy again moving through Steiner's square? The top part of it, so Steiner will get one. Why do they love it going through his its square so much? I don't know. Yeah, we... Attack yeah. opportunity. Don't take it, Steiner. Don't take it. <laughs> is that is that a? Yeah. Uh, roll a percentile. Was that slash roll? Uh, yeah. There's also a. I don't know if there's. Like I've just been going over to the die thing and rolling two ten and then reading them off how they're. So nineteen. Um, yeah. Shoemaker and Samus roll percentile. <laughs> to see if I swing my, if I, if I throw my axe at him. To catch them on the back swing. A ninety. And a fifty-seven. Okay, so uh, roll damage, uh, Steiner. Uh, roll damage. Yes. Uh, all right. I'll just go click this button again. <laughs> so shoe, you'll take eight. Well, it's still um, gotta get through shoe's armor though. Oh yeah, roll, yeah, you're right, you're right. So uh, go ahead and roll an attack. Uh, the attack is a a nine. Yeah, a nine. So sure, you you clink off of Shu's armor on the backswing. Okay. Uh, so the guy in my leather, bad. The guy in leather armor is attacking you, uh, Steiner. You're buffing that out later. Uh, ten will miss. <laughs> And then the lizard is attacking you with advantage. With a, wow, with advantage is a six. So that, that, that will also miss. The power of light saves us! <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Um, and then we have kobolds. Uh, again, we have two on Samus and uh, one on Shoemaker. I, I step in front of one of the um, ones attacking Samus. Uh, 14 to hit Samus? No. 10 to hit Samus? Also no. 17 to hit Shoe? Nope. Okay. And then uh, we have uh, 3 on Siner. 17 is the number to beat. So one hit for five. For five? For five. Remember all those awesome hit points you got back? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just lost them. One hit for six as well. You're kidding me? Nope. <laughs> yeah. Are you unconscious, oh, Stan? Yeah. Unconscious. Okay. Yeah, there's no, there's no minuses here. Alright, uh, Steiner, I need you to make a death save throw, because it is your turn. <sighs> Fifteen, I believe that that's is a, a That's a save, yeah. Okay. It's okay. ten or above. That's correct, you're right. Uh, Samus, it is your turn. All right. Um, we got to kill this dragon, right, Shu? Yep. All right, I will quickly uh, slide a hand my quarterstaff back into my hands. Apparently uh, not. You <laughs> will not. <laughs> Very well, then I will just pick up my quarterstaff, obviously, and then thwack this thing. So much for being awesome about it. 17 will hit. 
seven. That will uh, bring it down. As he sighs a heavy sigh of relief. Okay. <laughs> now, I let a primal roar of just true, like, come at me. Okay. But, um, let's see. They, they still have Intimidate? They do. But I don't have any Intimidate. So I'm going to deceive these people with my mighty roar into leaving me alone. A.K.A. I'm going to lie. Okay, get what do you, the, what do you say? Get away then? from me. No, I, I roar out, like, mightily. Like, I'm ready to just, like, continue. Like, I'm about oh, okay. to go into Berserker yeah. Rage. Okay. okay. Shoemaker, it is your turn. <clears throat> so, do I get a bonus action as well? Yes. All right, so I am going to cast Divine Favor on myself. Okay. So that's a roll d4. And then I am going to two-handed attack that human that's next to Steiner there. Oh, that extra d4 is like when, with your damage, so... So you it's um, now, yeah. 6 for 12, so I'm probably going to miss him. 6 will not hit, yes. Uh, that will actually, <laughs> won't even go off of his arm. I, I tried. You're doing great, buddy. You just keep the attention of all these kobolds. They're not going to be all able to get in that square. All right, so uh, the uh, guy in leather armor, Shoemaker? Yep. I keep saying you, like you guys can see me, because I'm so used to DMing in person that I just, like, look at somebody. Oh, we can see you. Uh, five will not hit. And then we have uh, some kobolds here. Kobolds. So uh, two on Samus. Two, okay. Uh, 23 for four damage. Yeah. 20, ooh, that's a crit. I believe, right? That's what that green means? I don't yes. know, probably. So for six damage. All right, I'm also yeah. taking a siesta now. Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Excuse me. Steiner, make a, a death saving throw. That's two. Okay. Um, now it is Samus is trying to make a death saving throw. Samus makes it. Shoemaker, it is your turn. You kobolds all over the place, and uh, two of your party members are. Uh, all right, like so <clears throat> so I'm going to um, I'm going to use my bonus action uh -huh. to cast Healing Word on um, on Steiner. Okay. So let me see if I can remember how to roll that. I said Healing Word, right? So, so Steiner will get back five hit points. Yep, and then I'm going to use my regular action to ca cast Cure Wounds on Samus. Okay. And Samus will get back six. Six hit points. So that should get them both up off the ground. Yep. Okay. Make me proud, boys. Make me proud. All right, I'm just going to point... Yeah, this guy. Oh, hold on, hold on. The, this is the the guy's oh, side. Okay. Uh, so, uh, shoemaker. Twelve will miss you. Twelve will miss me. Twenty three for four damage. And that will make me unconscious. One. Oh. Oh, that one made you unconscious? Yep. 
Set me okay, to zero. So then, so then this one is the uh, uh, he'll hit you, and that's uh, two automatic death saves uh, failures. Um, now it is Steiner's turn. All right, I can either try to kill one guy, or I can reach move down and bring two up to one hit point. Move your hex, kill a thing, get some hit oh, points. Oh, I, I don't, I don't have a hex. It's gone. Oh, that doesn't just keep moving. I thought it kept moving. No, it doesn't. That that's the the subclass feature. The spell does the spell hex, but uh, this class feature doesn't. All right. Well, I mean, taking shoot a one is. Fine, I guess. But he'll just go down again next turn. That's the problem. Well, maybe. But he's at he's at two death saves, so. Uh... I don't know. Kill a guy. Save you. It's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. It's all good. I'll I'll he'll sh shoot a one hit point. Okay. I'll just reach down and like bright golden light. Flows from my body into his. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. Uh, Samus. Um. All right. This guy behind me. Hey, Samus, kill a guy, would you? I I'm thinking about it. This guy behind me. <laughs> did it look like he um has been wounded before? Uh, no. Your acid splashes, okay. though, might kill some kobolds. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, okay, so I'm going to acid splash two of the kobolds in front of me here. So two points of damage if they fail a DC 14 as saving throw. Uh, one will critically pass. And the other one will fail. How much was it? Two damage. Two damage. You have not rolled especially well on that. No, tonight has not been your guys' night. Sure. So when we party wipe, it's it's all full oh, fault. We're still okay yet. We got time. Okay. Shoemaker, it is your turn. You are at one hit point. You your eyes open as you see Steiner's hand touching you on the chest. Um, and you are surrounded by kobolds. All right, so <clears throat> I decided that at this point, um, I'm going to take another cleave at this um, this guy here. Okay. See if I can take him down and get rid of the flanking. So a nine for ten. Uh, nine will not hit. Okay. Um... Oh, and you lost your divine favor too. Shoot. Yeah, that was only good for that one turn, I think. No, it was concentration for a minute. Yeah. That's hard to concentrate when you're sleepy. You will see these kobolds. They are now boogieing out of the the church, and they are carrying all sorts of stuff. Are they carrying people? No. And they, they just will yip. Yip yip. Uh, they will yip at everyone that uh, to. Uh, uh, let the let the 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 ugly ugly one finish this. You get stuffs, and you'll see uh, some of these are now starting to move into the church. Uh, you are not hearing any any screams from the church anymore. Hopefully, the the cleric that can raise dead. Um... <laughs> That's a lot of diamonds. Hit well. Hit well. Okay, and then Sam, the guy in... You? Go for it. 
11 for four. 11 does not hit. All right, Steiner, it is your turn. All right, I will swing my axe at that guy. AC 12 for six. Uh, AC 12 will, will hit. Okay. Six points. Okay. Uh, does, it kill? does it kill him? It does not. Oh! Samus, it is your turn. All right, we're trying to kill the human. All right, I will grab my quarterstaff and swoop it with both hands around his legs. 19. Uh, 19 will hit. 10 damage. Apparently that's where his heart was. You, uh, yeah, you, you smash his head in and he collapses in a bloody mess. Oh, no. Take it, take his legs out. Then he falls and bashes his head on a rock. Loser. Sure. Sure. That sounds good. Okay. Um, Shoemaker, it is your turn. What would you like to do? You see kobolds are running in and out of the church. Grabbing stuffs. Um, I don't know, I, con I converse with the guys and see if we want to chase them down or let them make, make a getaway with the, with, the, with the stuff. I only have one hit point left, so I'm kind of like w wondering what the guys would like to do. I tell him that he needs to probably get into that church as quickly as possible and see if we can stabilize anybody. And so? uh, we'll do our best. Those of us with ranged abilities will do our best to like stop as many kobolds from fleeing as we can. So that's what I do. I make a mad dash for the church to, okay. to, to check the bodies and see if there's anybody still alive. Uh, roll percentile. Uh, 33. Uh, roll a dexterity. Um, you go through the door, and as soon as you go through the door, you run face first into, well, not face first, because you're taller. Uh, you run right into a kobold. He's carrying, like, goblets and, you know, like, just religious stuff. Um, you guys both fall flat, and you see that he is snarling. And he says, uh, uh, stupid human, get out of my way. Nothing bad will happen to you if you let me have this. I let him head out the door with whatever he's got. Okay. Uh, he'll pick it up and he'll he'll spit at you as he leaves, and uh, he's now walking out the door with an uh, armful of stuff. I'm just looking for the bodies. Okay. Um, you do see several uh, bodies laying, including uh, one the priest who is now uh, bleeding out uh, all over the altar. All right, so I, I walk up to the priest there, and um, I cast a cantrip, sp spare the dying. Um, roll a percentile. Seven. Um, unfortunately, the priest is already... All right, uh, Steiner and uh, do in this meantime. Um, I sheath my battle axe and pull out my whip, and I, I'm gonna try to like trip kobolds and just blast them with eldritch blasts to keep them from getting away. Okay. Yeah, I'm Samus? just gonna acid blast every all my can. Okay. All right. So yeah, Why? you you guys will kill a few of them. Some of them will get away. Um, but you, you do kill a few of them. Yeah. yeah, why Why I do that, why I go over to make sure this guy stays on the ground? Uh, yeah, he's still unconscious. Okay. Okay. Um, so yeah, you guys, uh, like I say, you kill a couple of kobolds, most of them just some, some junk from the church. Um, they don't really have any, uh, 
gold and such. Uh, this is kind of a poor place, so they're not getting gold and stuff like that, but they have junk from the church. Um, that That's pretty much resolved. Uh, to roll another percentile for me. Twenty-five. Um, you are able to save uh, only one person out of the church. And and who is it that I'm saving? Uh, it's just a like a commoner. Okay, so nobody important that would know anything. That they're all the everyone in this church. Is These are the the townsfolk, not not any of the, the the raiders. Now these are the people that were not smart enough to go to the the citadel. Okay, the so uh, are you guys gonna head back to the citadel, or what are you guys? Yeah, let's uh, let's try this back. other guy up first. Yeah, let's, let's secure him and then double team him back to the citadel, taking the uh, the back way again, kind of okay. like we did. And okay. uh, find a secure spot to to get healed up again. Okay. Roll uh, uh, the stealth saves with advantages. Sure. Uh, guidance obviously on the way. So yeah, I, I know Sam. I'm I'm getting it. I'm closing. Up here. Guidances are the threes. How many are we doing? You want, you want a bunch one. of a bunch three. of one. All right. Well, let's do all three of his, and then I'll do. Okay. Uh, Sam, let's go into yours. Yeah. This is not my forte. Um. So the first, like, first little leg, you will see some uh, people. Uh, they are. Um, they do see you, Sam. Uh, but instead of coming at you, they will actually start running back towards uh, uh, the south. Ah, excellent. And I am. Yes, um, go tell them I captured their leader. I follow okay. up behind him. Okay. Shoemaker, go ahead and make your stealth saves. I'm going to guidance myself. Plus four. Okay. Um, all right. So yeah, you guys are Citadel, and that's where we're gonna stop for the night. Uh, Sam is. I believe you're gonna be streaming your uh, DDO stream, right? Yep. I'll be taking over as DDO stream when I get back, but I got to go pick up CJ from work that gets off in a few minutes. So. Okay. Which so. Break for me. Yeah. So uh, I'd like to thank everybody for. Us. Uh, again, this is our bi-monthly D&D uh, &D game, so we will be doing this again, not this following Thursday, but the Thursday after. Um, if you liked what you saw, you could go ahead and hit that follow button, and that'll let you know when we go live. If you really liked what you saw, me and Samus both have ways that you can subscribe to us. I um, do too! Sheesh! Oh. Oh, well, are you streaming right now? Yeah! I've been streaming yeah, the whole time. Yeah, so me, 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 Samus, and uh, Technical Thirteen all have ways to subscribe. Uh, you can get a free subscription with your Amazon Prime uh, through Twitch if you have that. It won't cost you a dime, and it definitely helps support our shows. Uh, Samus also has a Patreon. Um, I don't know if she does or not, but Samus has one. Uh, you can subscribe for as low as uh, one dollar, as high as three dollars. That also really helps going towards the uh, the stream and supporting us. Uh, but other than that, we hope to see you guys again on the next one. And uh, we're pretty much almost done with this first chapter. So uh, everyone will probably level up either this next one or the very beginning of the one after that. But uh, we are, I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. Uh, I know this is a rough fight, but that's, this is kind of the, the build up for the end of it. So yep, the nature of the beast. I'm, I'm just, level, I'm just waiting to level up. Deadly. I'm just waiting to level up and get a few more hit points. Well, we, it's not, it won't be this, this next time. But uh, like, you guys aren't leveling up and.
first and next session, but it's it's very possible that the next session at the end of it, I'll tell you guys to level up, but we'll see. It all depends on how much we get through. So, yep. uh, so again, good. yep. So we'll, we'll be back here uh, this following week. Um, I'm going to take a break and have some dinner. And then I'm going to be back on my personal channel, which is uh, twitch.tv slash top hat to lab uh, for a DDO stream. And then I believe I would take a small break after that and do a magic stream as well. So I've got all sorts of streaming going on. Samus has got his DDO stream going on. So uh, plenty for you guys to watch. And uh, we hope to uh, you guys uh, uh, come back and, and watch those, those streams. Uh, any final words, gentlemen? No, uh, just... Oh. The ninth should be the correct day for the next session, and uh, hope to see you guys then. Yep, that will be okay. seven thirty Pacific or uh, seven thirty Central time. Excuse me. Yep. All right, everyone. So, Toodle. All right. All right. Bye bye right. now. Have a good night. Have a good night, everyone. Bye. Right. That is shut down. Just did. All right. I gotta run, boys. I'll see you guys later. All right. Later. Sounds good.